Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Oh, great. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah, you too. Yeah, thank you. You is from Holland. Yeah. What city in Holland you from? Uh, from Rotterdam. Rotterdam. I have been in Holland just on transit, so I have to go there to vlog to make a lot of videos in Holland. Okay. In any moment from now, who knows? That very soon I'm, I'm going to be there. So you've been living here for some time now. So like, how long you been living here? Uh, four months. Four months. Okay. Cool. What is like living here in Bulgaria? It's as a, a foreigner. It's nice. Uh, people told me, my family mostly, mm. told me people were racist here, but it's not true. The people are very nice here. Okay. And uh, you can see a lot of beautiful things. You have uh, churches, you have mosques, you have uh, everything here. Everything? Yeah. So you're having a very great time here? Yeah. Are you still going to go back to Holland? <laughs> uh, later. Later is possible. <laughs> you still want to relocate back to Holland? <laughs> not, not to see my family, but uh, not Living, to... You have to come back to Bulgaria. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> Bulgaria has, has captured him. <laughs> so <laughs> he's not going to go back uh, to Holland just only to visit his family. And, but living, he wants to stay only in Bulgaria now. Wow. Yes. Holland, everything is going bad right now. Mm. But uh, this is the future. Eastern Europe. And Africa. Africa also. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. No problem. Sorry, really sorry for like keeping you wait because no, you no, know no, no. we it's had appointment problem. at uh, uh, twelve yeah. uh, noon. But I had a funny situation in the moment I'm leaving my hostel. Yeah. That makes me to also make the wrong choice by taking the wrong route and makes me to even more late. Yeah. So, bro, how are you? How is life here in life Sofia good, and Bulgaria as a whole? Yeah, life is really good. You know, people speak different about Bulgaria mm. but, and so many other places. Mm. But me, I believe not until you go to the place, that's when you get to know how the place is. Mm. Yeah, so what I heard about Bulgaria, what I heard about Sofia is totally different. Wow. It's a very beautiful, beautiful place, very good people, you know, mm. nice food, good culture, mm. good environment, you know. So I really like it. I really wow. like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So good. So what is like living for you as a foreigner in this country then? Well, it's sweet and sour, I would say, because, uh, you know, the challenge in most of the European countries is uh, the language. Yeah, the language. So I have to learn Bulgarian. Many people here, they don't speak Bulgarian, mm. you know. So that's the only main challenge. And then food, mm. because I lived most of my time in Africa, Uganda. By the way, I come from Uganda. Yeah, shout the out to my place in Africa, the pearl of Africa, Uganda. Visit Uganda and you see the you best. Know, the best. <laughs> the best of the best. I can't wait to visit yeah. Africa as a whole. For you sure. Can, I can't wait. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you're missing. You've traveled the world, but mostly Europe, America, UK. You mm. need to travel your home countries, yeah. Africa. We have all to the start African a, country, yeah. All the yeah, Africans so. in the diaspora, we have to be visiting Africa from henceforth. Yes. As, a, as our place of holidays. Yeah. Because Africa is coming up. Forget about all the blah, blah, blah. Africa is coming up. <laughs> Africa is the future, man. Yeah, so for sure. So we are going and it's going to be explosive. And I can't wait to share Africa with you. Yeah. So it will be nice and very awesome out there in Africa. It's going to be explosive. For sure. Every country in Africa. Just stay tuned to my brother's channel. Mm. You'll get all the best. Good. So, yeah. as you were saying, you said like uh, the cultural aspect, the language aspect. What can you share? Like your own challenges, like you face. How is life really look like here? Yeah, you said yeah, the problem is the language. Yeah. And uh, what other things you can well, share? Well, well, yeah, for sure, the culture is totally different. Mm. Like uh, you know, here people celebrate things in a different way. Mm. Like in my home, Africa, we don't take 
birthday celebration is serious, we don't take uh, anniversary is so serious, but here it's like I'm partying every day. Ooh. You know, my friends are inviting me for their birthday, and it's an open bar. You know, I don't take alcohol, but you know, I'm enjoying all the rest of soft drinks. Mm. You know, and then you know, other parties, anniversary, you know, achievement in school. So mm. it's really part of people live here a happy life. Happy it life. doesn't matter, you know, like you are in Bulgaria, it's a small country in Europe, in the Eastern Europe. But it's a very beautiful country that mm. everyone should visit, you know? Mm. Yeah. So life here is so interesting. I've lived here, this is like my five year, fifth year. So fifth year. I'm doing great and I feel like not going anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> everything is here, everything is here, you know? I can get everything from here. Oh, he's so, really enjoying his time here. Yeah, for sure, because... He speaks Bulgarian then? Yes, I do speak some Bulgarian. Okay, say hello to the Bulgarian people, maybe my <laughs> comment across this video. <laughs> Taxi, Rusty. <laughs> that is Ellen Bogue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is nice. That is nice to hear. Yeah, so, sure. About work aspect, is it easy for you to get some job? Yeah, it's really easy. The only limitation is the, the bureaucracy. You know, mm. Bulgaria is an European country. Mm. So if you come in and you are in a European country, there is a process you have to go through. Mm. But if you have all the qualifications, for example, the easiest one is if you're coming from your country with a degree mm. or a master's mm. or you're an expert in a certain field, mm. it becomes easy for you to find a job okay. because the law allows you to work here, you present your papers, mm. and then you compete, you know, on the Bulgarian market or any other European country market. So, yeah, I'm here and I'm working because I did my bachelor's. I'm currently doing my master's. And yes, I'm able to, you know, like work just like any other European citizen. So that's the good thing about it. But it's difficult if you come and you have no qualification. Mm. Yeah, you find it difficult unless if you're visiting your relative and your relative is here and is a citizen here, mm. then they can support you in one way or the other. Okay. But uh, unless that, then you have to get married to a Bulgarian citizen. Mm. You know, everyone knows that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Or invest. If you're coming from, you know, let's say Africa or South America or any other non-European country, then you have to invest. You have to be with some certain amount of money on your account. So you mm. come into these European countries mm. as an investor. Mm. So that is easy. You can just buy a building or start a business and yes, you're able to work from here. Uh, let me get my sunglasses. It's okay. kind of like, you it's know, only... shining okay. too much. I can't like, look straight to your camera. Okay. And our viewers would like to know, you know, yeah, <laughs> see so... me very well. Yeah. yeah. Can I hold this for you? Okay, okay. I got it. Yeah. Yeah, good. Very soon, the minister of, of Uganda. <laughs> uh, actually, yeah, I'm a good, you know, I come from a big family in Uganda. Yeah. Uh, you know, my father and mother have served in the Ugandan government. So hopefully, maybe, mm. uh, we are working on how we can get an embassy in Bulgaria. Okay, there is no can, embassy you know, here. Like, there is no Ugandan embassy here. Mm. So who knows, five years from now, I might be the ambassador of Uganda. Amen. In Bulgaria, you know. Amen. So, yeah, I, I, I always think big. I would like to serve that in big the, offices, yeah. That is good. Yeah, and sure. you will receive it. When you yeah. think big and you walk towards it, you will receive it. With God above, yeah. Everything yes, is above possible. Everything you put it in, yeah. in his hand, it is going to be uh, Yeah, for sure. Be, it's going to work out. So I'm, sure. I'm here with the official <laughs> ambassador of Uganda. Uh, what about the house rents? Well, what I have to share about the house rent, uh, first I'll say the system is good mm. because we have agents. You okay. know, when you want a house, it's easy. The agents are everywhere. Their contacts are available. Mm. And they will take you to different places. You okay. will check different houses. Mm. And depending mm. on how much suits you, you will take an apartment, a full house, mm. how many beds. Mm. Yeah, so there are houses which are fully furnished and the houses which are not furnished. Mm. So you choose, you want to have a sofa, a TV in it, or there are those which have those stuffs already. Mm. Yeah, so you choose. And then, yeah, the price-wise, it's affordable. Mm. 
mm. only that it has kind of changed because of the crisis, because of the pandemic, because of the war in Ukraine. Mm. Yeah, but before that, when I arrived here in 2018, everything was cheap. You know, it was easy to live here and there were so many, you know, tourists coming here to spend their life, people mm. coming for retirement, you mm. know. Yes here so it has been a very good place but because of the prices things mm. have kind of changed yeah kind so the changed. price have gone up for the electricity bills the gas bills have kind of risen up mm. but yeah you know the union and the country the government they're trying to regulate it in the best way they can mm. so yeah it's easy to find a house because as i told you the agents are very available and professional the houses are very furnished and, you know, updated, so it's, it's nice. It yeah. just depends on your uh, money on the account, yeah. where you the want ability. to live, the ability, where you, want, where to you live. want to live. Yeah, but, yeah, but as always or as norm, in the city is different. Yeah, mm. if you are in Sofia here, the price is kind of different. A mm. two-bedroom house may be at 600 live, depending on how much, mm. I mean, how the house looks, how, where is it situated, mm. you know, which may cost like 400 in Vanna or Provdiv or Dobridge, you know, so okay. it depends on the location. In okay. the city, there is a lot of competition, so many people, people yes. working, so definitely the price is slightly different. Slightly. But as well, in the city, as you know, Mm. Good job, they pay good money compared to How other much jobs. Is the average down salary? In the, I think it's around 800 lev, which is around 400 euro. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. And you know, Bulgaria haven't yet adopted euros, yes. so they are still using their lev, and the minimum wage is low. Mm. Yeah. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. yes. So, if like as a student you are, some other students all around the world, maybe they want to emulate what you do, they want to come and study here. And what do you study, by the way? Uh, I study gastronomy, gastronomy management, yes. Okay. So, yeah, I would like to call upon them to come. You this know. is the second Uganda. I think I met <laughs> one uh, girl, she's from Uganda, Zimbabwe, sorry. Hey, this girl. Yes. Uh, she's studying gastronomy also. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you guys like like food. Yeah. <laughs> a lot. Yeah, it's yeah. Good. Yeah, gastronomy, the Kurnali Art Institute, Vana University of Management is one of the best in Eastern Europe. Ooh. Yeah, so and this university has a partnership with Cardiff. So when you study in this university, you graduate with two bachelors. Ooh. One from Bulgaria and another one from UK, Cardiff. Ooh. So this is an advantage. They have professional teachers with very good experience wow and uh, lesson is an in, in English mm. it's an international university mm. so it's a place where you meet students from all over the world wow. and Vana University of Management <laughs> I'm sorry to you know mm. advertise for them on your YouTube channel <laughs> maybe you sort out yourself <laughs> yeah so, but it's one good? of the best university in, 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 my, my in, is in uh, sharing. Yeah. I'm sharing everything I don't yeah do, for sure we, I just like mm -hmm. sharing so yeah. to help people so yeah share so you can share yeah so <laughs> help young people students so yeah the that is why I'm traveling that's why I'm doing this <laughs> Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, one of the leading universities in Bulgaria, that's Technical University, you know, Sofia University and Vana University of Management. Mm. So they have quality education, okay. quality education professors who are well experienced. Mm. And, you know, they teach you on what you're going to become, not like learn like everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are specific on what you have to learn and you acquire skills that will help you in the future. So you apply yeah. this online from uh, from Uganda? You apply... The no, no, no. My parents applied for me. My okay. parents live in the Switzerland, Geneva. Okay. Yeah, so when we sat as a family and were checking for which university has the best in my field, mm. we found out Vana University of Management and I as I told you in before, Europe. yes, and as, as I told you before, you know, by then it was the cheapest, like it was the cost of living in Bulgaria, the cost of tuition, what we compared with the one of Netherlands, Switzerland, mm. uh, France, and we found out this to be the most interesting friend, and cheap. Yeah. Malco, Malco. Malco, okay. Zdrasta Kaksi. 
Where are you from, guys? Where are you from? We are from Africa. We are from Africa. Africa. Which country? Which country? Nigeria, Uganda. Niger Uganda. Why are you gay? Why are you gay? Wait, wait, no, wait. we are not gay. You are, but do you know the interview? You know, you. It's from Uganda. This interview. So, what last advice you can give to someone that want to come to study here? From you as a person, all around the world. Uh, yes, uh, as I shared before, depending on where you come from, mm. it's a great opportunity. Mm. And the uh, university you choose matters. For example, my university, Vana University of Management, mm. uh, has the leading mobility rate yes, of, of your students or moving to different places. Okay. So you got the opportunity to go for Erasmus, where it's paid mm. by the European Union. So mm. you travel around the world. Mm. You go for four months, six months, and interns. You, interns, yes. So you have around the three, four interns, and you paid. You experiencing different places. So it's a very great opportunity. So it's not that you just coming to Bulgaria for your three years, four years, or two years of study. No, you got the opportunity to move around. European U Union. U Union, yeah, and nowadays even the America, UK students used to go, but since the Brexit, they no longer go. So, but it's a great opportunity. There are so many places to visit within Europe. Yeah, mm. so come ready to experience, come ready to meet new life, make a new life, get new experience. Yeah, it's best. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. a nice choice. Thank yeah. you very much for sharing. Thank you so much and, uh, for hosting me. I really, yeah. really appreciate it. And okay. Nice to meet you. I'm very happy to be on my brother's channel. Thank you. Subscribe to his YouTube and enjoy the best. I am Joel Tamara. If you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you will get notified of my upcoming videos. As I take you to every country on head. Until then, have a wonderful and inspiring day. Bye-bye.